I'm a clinical radiologist and an inventor and my background was in contrast agents and more and more of the things I'm doing are with nanotechnology and my goal is to develop uh, new um, technologies uh, in area uh, of medical need uh, where development of that technology uh, could bring a meaningful change in uh, patient care. If we look right over here, you see the aorta looks white and the tumor uh, is enhancing here in the liver. And it's the contrast agent that's making it possible to see that. And so uh, when I was a resident, I started making contrast agents for magnetic resonance imaging and then ultrasound. And um, my first company here in Tucson, we made three FDA-approved contrast agents and uh, one uh, FDA-approved medical device that's used to make one of the contrast agents. And one of those contrast agents um, is the market-leading product in its class in the United States. It sells over $100 million a year. So what we have is the potential using the agent that I invented to perform an examination more safely without a risk to the kidneys, with no radiation exposure, uh, and at a lower cost. So from the diagnostic side, it's made a big impact uh, in Canada. It's made a big impact for echocardiography. And uh, if they can get the FDA approval for these radiology indications, then it could uh, you know, have that fruition in the United States. This is uh, war, uh, one of my major projects right now. And uh, this is using uh, bubbles for oxygen delivery. And uh, the research that I'm showing here was done with one of our collaborators and uh, paid for by the United States military. But uh, they're very interested in uh, casualties that, um, and being able to improve resuscitation in the field. I think we're all familiar with soap bubbles, and those are about two inches. Um, these uh, are either micro or nano bubbles, and they contain or they deliver far more oxygen than anything that has ever been described. What we discovered was that we could give an intravenous infusion of the bubbles and apply intermittent higher energy ultrasound to the heart and uh, then uh, we would restore the blood flow to the heart. What we would hope to achieve ultimately would be to reduce the size of the heart attack. And I've been working on this for about 10 years and I've had a long-standing collaboration with a cardiologist uh, at the University of Nebraska. I think academic is a great source of innovation, but the clinical translation piece is usually not very developed because you need to have an industrial collaboration typically to move something into clinical testing. And in order to justify doing that, you really have to be meeting an unmet medical need and have a defined market opportunity that then creates uh, an investment thesis to justify the expenses that, that are required. There's been here at the university, I think consistently, a very good atmosphere for interdepartmental collaborations. I really like the challenge of trying to make an invention and um, bring it into a clinical